YouTube, what is going on? HGR here, back for another pickup video. Um, it's been a while since I've done a pickup video. Just um, things going on and haven't really had time to go out and game hunt like I normally do. So, But I do have some stuff here that I've been picking up for a little while now. So, First thing I picked up, another NES Classic Edition. I figure I got two SNES Classics. Why not have two of them? So I picked up another one of them. I picked up this guy, Ching Chomp, uh, World of Nintendo Collectible. Picked up the uh, blue Obama. I had the red one, but this time I got the blue one. And then also picked up Super Mario Odyssey, Mario and Cappy. So I thought those were pretty cool, so I snatched them up. And the next thing we picked up was a game that I thought was exclusive to Nintendo consoles only like the Wii U and the Switch but apparently it's not um, PlayStation 4 Lego City Undercover and this was a Walmart exclusive came with the mini build police car um, but yeah Lego City Undercover on PS4 I did not know that was on PS4 thought this was a Nintendo exclusive but I was wrong so yep picked that up on PS4 mainly because it was marked down and because it had the little mini uh, Lego car with it. Um, next up, a Goodwill pickup that I probably paid over price for. But everything's in here. Uh, Zumba Fitness 2 for the Wii. So this is my Oak City Gamer pickup. Um, shitty games that you just can't pass on. And it's complete in box. And even has the... Um, got the little fitness band in there that was never used and the game is still sealed so the game itself is there's a fitness band is sealed and get the game out the game is still sealed so whoever bought it never played it um i don't know if they the people that had it open the outside box or if the goodwill did just to make sure it was in there but either way not a bad little little find just to have for the Wii collection I left a price tag on it, but no particular reason. Um, another Wii game I picked up. Ice Age Continental Drift Arctic Games. Uh, I'm not sh too sure about it. I never heard of it, but I like Ice Age the movie, so snatched that game up. This was in the Markdown bin. It was, I say it was like 75 cents or something. Um, went into the bookstore and they had a whole bin of games for 75 cents or less. So, a few of these are came out of that bin. So, this is another one that came out of there. Um, PlayStation 2, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Not sure how that game is. Haven't played it, but the you know, movie was okay. So, Revenge of the Fallen. This one was a Goodwill pickup. Um, it was not 75 cents, probably $3.99. Lord of the Rings Return of the King on PS2. Not a bad little game there either. All right, that's it for PS2. Now let's see. Now I like to do newest to oldest. So um, got some original Xbox games. Um, Sonic Heroes for Xbox. Not sure if I had this one or not. Don't remember. Haven't looked. Uh, picked up Ford Racing Three for the Xbox. Can't get enough of that Ford racing. Let's see, let's stack that down there. Come on, stop messing up my display. Yeah, boy. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, so hold that one for later. <laughs> uh, picked up Outlaw Golf Nine Holes of Xmas Blockbuster exclusive um, for the Xbox. Now I don't know if this was a console exclusive, but it does say Blockbuster exclusive. <laughs> And um not sure what that is. is that what I paid for $1.99? Uh nope. Nope, because that's not my receipt. That might be September 25th. Oh yeah, it is my receipt. Yeah, I did pay it because it was on um half off or something, because I think it was like customer appreciation day, but there's no book in. I don't know if it ever had a book, but there it is, exclusive book exclusive nine holes of Christmas. 
this little nice little outlaw golf add-on and I picked up total overdose on Xbox a gunslingers tale in Mexico with the bonus um, Laura Croft Tomb Raider legend DVD inside and I believe this is complete it's got a book there it's got the Tomb Raider DVD and the game itself total overdose so yeah, pretty good little pickup there and let's see what else we got ah <laughs> now this one's gonna get you right here this was 75 cents and yeah, I don't know why it was so cheap but Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball from Techno Xbox exclusive so yeah this is one you know I did that video where they had the bootleg copy of that one Goodwill but went into the bookstore had the full real version you yeah, see everything's in here it's got the book and it's got this little I don't know if you can see that moving this little flappy whatever you call these little changey things I don't know if you can see it fix the camera there do 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 but yep got that complete 75 cents not a bad deal at all did our live beach volleyball and next we have a bunch of PS1 games. Um, it's a two disc um, golden nugget for PS1. Little casino game. Um, I like this game. I like Caesar's Palace though on the Super Nintendo. I said that before. This is kind of similar to it. So for PlayStation 1. Um, so got an upgrade here. I picked up Qbert on the PS1 which I already had. But I think mine copy that I had before was just disc only. So that one's complete. Picked up Eagle One um, Harrier Attack from Info Games. You know, back in the 90s, and Flight Sim games were everywhere. So, but I like them. So I picked this one up, gonna give it a shot, see how it is. Last PS1 game I picked up was Tiny Toon Adventures Plucky's Big Adventure. Don't know much about this game, um, but the PS1 game I didn't have, so I went ahead and snatched that up. They're all complete. It's two disc, one disc, one disc, one disc, and the last two that I picked up, which I can't believe I didn't have this one. I think I do, but San Francisco Rush Extreme Racing for Nintendo 64, and the last game that I got was spot uh for nes you know everybody's a favorite othello clone so they had this in there for uh i think five dollars so but i don't have spot so i just went ahead and grabbed it because i haven't bought an nes game in quite a while so that's it oh no, no, no. i got one more thing over here so let me move this stuff out of the way so i can show you this i'm not sure how it's gonna work because this thing is huge but Okay, guys, here we go. Uh, that's heavy. Last thing I picked up was another Xbox original. This one's in the box. Um, it's not complete. doesn't have the um, insert in it. But I think it has the instructions and stuff. But I didn't buy it because it was boxed or anything like that. It was marked 60. There was 50% off on the orange tag. So this was 30 bucks. Um... The reason I bought it was not because I needed another original Xbox or anything like that. Um, I, don't know, I know you can't see this, but when I open this up, I'll try to get in here so you can see it. I opened it up. I looked down in here. Oh, there's the instruction book. But this is what the main reason why I bought this thing. If I can get it out. So I opened it up, I looked in there, and I saw this in there. The Logitech Xbox controller, wireless controller, the receiver's in there also. So these these themselves are worth about 30 bucks. Um, so that's why I bought it. I figured I could buy this and I could turn around, sell this, and get my money back. So basically have a free um, free original Xbox. 
so for the price of this and the receivers in there but yep just want to show you that um that's my pickup video for now and i'll catch y'all at the next one peace